Welcome to MPTF's Climate Conversations. In this episode, we ask Elders Climate Action members, what can we do to help? Dennis and Richard, I'm so happy to see you both. Um, this is a really important conversation and a topic that, you know, we goes a, goes a little bit outside of motion picture and television, but uh, but not because it's something all very near and dear to our hearts. What I love about what you guys are talking about is th- there's big problems to solve and, and the, the world has to come together. However, there are easy solutions and it's not without our or outside of our grasp. So no. maybe yeah. we're not there yet, but you know, just some of those practical things that in the aggregate, they do make a big difference and they, they should do. make you feel good about it. Yeah, and that and that, you know, if I can just jump in here, you know, please Courtney, that, Dennis, that's a yes. big, that's a really big overwhelming human global problem. Yeah. No one's solving it on their own. There's no solution that's going to, you know, pop up tomorrow. Uh, um, And it's great to hear all this uh, major government organizations getting together and working on it. They're talking about it now. At least that's some movement. It's not as fast as we want it, but it's very easy to get overwhelmed. And what can I do? And, oh, my God, we're lost. Uh, yes, our biological clocks are ticking, but you know what? They are ticking. So let's get up and do the best we can. And one of the things doing the best we can and doing whatever you can, even on a very small level, is it 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 saves you from that feeling of I can't do anything. It's a, that depression essentially. You know, yeah. it makes you feel like you're doing something. And you are doing something and being part of. And, you know, one of the things I want to say about ECA is it, it, it essentially is like a clearinghouse almost of very of different opportunities in various organizations. Uh, uh, and when we talk about what can you as an individual do, well, you know, you can join a group. You can join an advocacy group like like ECA, although ECA is not the only one. There's, there's a number of others, 350.org. Uh, third Act, Sunrise Movement for, for Younger People, Surf Riders, which is about cleaning up beaches yes. more, mm-hmm. more, more than any. But all of these are really great programs. And, you know, you multiply your efficacy by being part of a group. And, and I think a lot of these groups do this. But what ECA does is it works with these other groups and coordinates things so that, you know, if you're interested in a particular area, say plastic cleanup on the beach with Surf Rider, ECA is a way to get to those people. It's, I'm not saying you have to go through ECA, but it becomes becomes a nice clearinghouse. Um, but join a group. Uh, and part of what some of those groups do, uh, ECA in particular, is we focus a lot on contacting uh, uh, our legislators and contacting businesses and and making our voices heard. You know, when you're when you're operating on a national level. Uh, you know, your voice is, you know, one of 200 million people, 300 million people are out there. But when you start getting into the state level, it's much smaller. When you get start getting into your, your, your local community, your voice makes a difference. You know, you can get your state senator and, 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 and council people, you can get to their offices. And, uh, uh, and, and that's something that, that I found, uh, uh, particularly rewarding and feeling that I'm getting something you, done. You know. We all have the responsibility to pay it forward in some way. I think, Dennis, what you, you and Richard are hitting on so deeply and so many others are just make your life about it. Make your purchases conscious. Be present in what you're doing. Look what you're buying. Look where you're buying it from. What your conversation is. How you teach your kids and your grandkids. And... These these are the things that if we all just start kind of changing our mindset, eventually the conversation changes. And then, you know, it's like the oceans. There's a small wave and there's a tsunami. Eventually it will be a tsunami. We will get there. It starts with one step. One little step makes a difference. It really, it really yeah. does. I feel like our residents, our community, like if anyone gets it, it's the creative community. They know the magic of one little project that was, let's say, like an indie film that no one ever thought would reach. Right. And then all of a sudden, it's reached the globe. For for motion picture uh, 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 members or campus members, residents, um, 
you know, you probably have skills that could really, I, I, you know, or knowledge skills, you know, all of it, experience that can really contribute to what we're, tr not only we're trying to do, but what this whole movement is trying to do. And when I mentioned that video game, you know, I don't know the first thing about convert, you know, video games and uh, the electronics of it and the cinematography of it, but there's probably people listening here who do. And if you want to get involved, please, please call us. You had a great slide for um, what potentially people who are living on the campus could be able to volunteer their services, like the ways they could volunteer their services. And I know with um, the potential that we're three quarters of the way through the pandemic and not actually complete with it, right? fingers crossed, um, there are a lot of people with time on their hands who may find this a great way to make positive change in the world and fill up some of the hours in the day. Yeah, I think, I, you know, to your point, Jen, it's, it's a win-win because, you know, it is about, hey, you, you know, I, for instance, I have time on my hands and, hey, how am I going to spend that? How am I going to spend that in a way that makes me feel good and that is productive? And, uh, you know, I love sitting around watching movies and, and, they can, and, and you know, there's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, there's other things, too, and, and getting up and, you know, whatever it is, making some phone calls or, or talking, talk, you, know, you know, you were mentioning, uh, we all were bringing it up, Courtney, the, the, the youth and getting out to the youth and talking to them about... You know, this is going to be their world. You know, it's it, it's hot now. It's going to get hotter if we don't watch it. And yeah. we're not we're not here soliciting that. You know, members sign up, fees, whatever. There are no fees. You're more than well, there's no fees, and you're more than welcome to come and take what you want, so to speak. You know, if you wanted to find out ways to get to another organization, you can do that through us. If you wanted to find out ways to actually, say, I mean, again, a year ago, I was like. I don't even know how the legislature works. Never mind calling them. And, but, and, and we can really use the help of everybody who's listening today. We really anybody yeah. who's listening, we've got right. something that you could enjoy doing for sure. Uh, no doubt. And similar to, to picking up one cigarette butt from the ocean, one call to your representative three calls to the various people that represent you and, yeah. and your interests. That yeah. makes an impact. One last thing I put in the chat, there is a, a, an app you can get for your phone called Climate Action Now. It provides you daily little activities, texts, emails, calls, things you can do to make a difference, really make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm.